How about yourself? <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. It's hashtag Roxley and we are back with another video. So today you guys, we are going to be reminiscing with you guys about uh, when Lee and I first met. So it has officially been almost three, well yeah, it's been three years since we met on Match.com. And um, I have like some of the messages and everything that we actually um, exchanged. Well, I don't have mine, um, but I have his. And he likes to go through and delete his um, emails and stuff like that. But that wasn't I like to case. keep a lot of stuff. All the emails, they automatically deleted out of my Hotmail within 90 days. Oh, gosh. Before gotcha. the wedding, I did reach out to Match.com just to get the transcript. No one ever responded back. So oh, if this man. gets to match.com, <laughs> we would love to get it. <laughs> Alright, um, so you know, as we said, we met on match.com and um I have some of the messages. We're gonna be sharing them with you guys. Um and then we are also gonna be giving you guys some tips about online dating if you decide to try online dating. Now, I wanna say that if you do decide to try online dating, I'm not gonna sit up here and say, oh my God, you're definitely going to find someone on there. I don't wanna say that and you know get your hopes all up because you, you may not just find someone who you vibe well with or whatever the case may be. But um, if you are going to try online dating, it's best that you try the ones where you actually have to pay for and do your research. See if it's one of like the top, you know, best online dating apps there is. I know eHarmony is like the number one um, and so. then like Match is on the list somewhere up there as well. And that was the reason why I decided to try um, Match. But anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get right into this um, video and then we'll talk about the tips. So, uh, I have the first message that Lee sent me and I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys. To show how much of a baller Lee is. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, so, um, this was his first message to me, you guys. And it said, hello, welcome to Chance 2.0 with the little smiley face. No games, all truth. My name is Lee. What's yours? And um, when I seen that, I was just kind of like, oh, okay, look at this guy. Um, let me go ahead and message him back, you know? Because um, I did, now I did go out on a date with someone else prior to uh, meeting Lee, and it just didn't work out too well. And then, like, other ones that I met on there, that was just really weird. So you're not gonna meet, like, all great guys on there um some of them i feel like are still there just to have sex or whatever the case may be um but like the common hookup apps just to let you know um those are gonna be like bumble tinder uh plenty of fish uh i, I really can't remember the other ones did we say tinder we did say tinder tinder is probably the most known for it yeah to like hook up and stuff uh <laughs> but anyways so like i said we decided to try you know match Dot com. Dot com. Um, just going through and reading some other messages that he sent. Um, I'm from Jersey. I moved to Florida about eight years ago and Tampa almost four years. Uh, where would you, where would you want to go if you had the choice? Now I really like this about Lee because he was asking some good questions. Um, it wasn't just like your typical, you know, like I don't know. He just he seemed really interested in my life and. Like, really interested in getting to know me as a person. Um, another message that he sent here was, Hey, Roxy, that is a unique name. Is it short for anything? Um, and then he said, I was brought to match, looking for someone to be with, have fun with, and get to know. I'm looking for my other half. Sex is good, however, that's not the goal. Um, I want a relationship, someone to go out to new places, see movies, go to concerts or sit at home and do nothing or cuddle. How about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, that was like one of the messages. I haven't read these since like last year. Um, I read these from time to time. She's, very um, She's actually at least watched our wedding video at least 10 times. And the reason why he said that about the sex thing is because <clears throat> I mentioned that I don't want to be in a relationship where um, we're having sex right away. And I also told him that I had, I had rules. Um, we're not having sex for the first six months of our relationship. And I, I meant that. And he respected that. He didn't try to say, oh, well, what, what about this? Or what, is this okay? Or, you know, like, it was really cool to talk to someone like that. Okay. Um, so you 
want to read this, what you wrote? You wrote me like a paragraph here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> At the very least, I can officially say I'm original. Yes, I would. There is no catch. Like I said before, sex is good. However, that's not my goal. A relationship should be based, should not be based on sex. If you don't like the person's company, there will never be love, just lust. Public places are smart and safe. That too I agree for our first date. Being the person I am, I would still offer to pick you up and would not blame the answer of no. Yes, I do also like to hold the doors open. What? Chivalry? <laughs> there are a lot of question marks there too. <laughs> As for the rules, they're more strong preferences. Don't judge. Cuddles in a relationship are a must. Obviously, not in the beginning, especially not in public places. That's just weird. Responses. I don't like being left hanging. I get it. We are both adults. We get busy. I'm not saying I would want to know where you are or who you're with. I just don't want to be left feel forgotten about. Excessive drinking or drugs. I'm just not willing to be around someone who can't be sober or around me. Oh, look. Here's another good one. He said, I didn't want to scare you off. Honestly, I meant be in a relationship. You aren't a person I would just want to date. Um, dates would be, but not just that. And he said, rules are rules. I would abide. Do you have any others? I love that about him. He was just like, hey, you know, that, that's that. <laughs> I'm not going to force you to um, do something you don't want to do. That's just weird. <laughs> but yeah, with the um, whole, you know, I didn't want to scare you off thing. Um... Because I was like, oh wow, he's actually really serious. And the next, oh, we didn't, we didn't exchange numbers. So we started talking on May 31st of 2017. We did not exchange numbers until June 2nd of 2017. That's like three days. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> and then he said, good morning. I don't think it'll be too forward. Um, I also think I have maybe crossed that boundary already when stating I didn't want to just date you. And he provided his phone number. Which we're not going to provide you. <laughs> yeah, because I don't even want him to I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, guys. So that's just some of the, like, messages that we have, that I have, um, still of, you know, like, our first few conversations. Now, um, prior to meeting, we met on June the 8th. That was our first date. Prior to meeting, um, we talked a lot, just about everything. Just, to, just about a lot, honestly. Um... Favorite color, favorite thing to eat, favorite dessert, Marriage. where would you um, go, how many kids would you want? Yeah, and it's, I think, you know what, I th I'm sorry, did I cut you off? No. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say that I think that um, it's pretty cool when you find a guy that you can talk about marriage with and they're just not like scared off or don't want to talk about it. He actually wanted to talk about it. Like he wanted to talk about not in a creepy way. marriage and stuff like that. No, like he, he was open <laughs> to talking about it. Um, so you know that was definitely cool. Um, but like I said, we met on match.com and um, yeah, the rest is history. It's been three years. We're married. We got we got engaged in 2018. Um, we married got married in 2020, 2020 in the very beginning of it before all this COVID stuff Thank happened. God. All this craziness happened in the world. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and give you guys some quick tips on um. online dating. Um, if you are going to do it. Uh, meet the pu person in a public place. Do not allow them to go ahead and pick you up. I understand some of them might still offer it, and which is nice that they still offer it, but don't allow anyone to pick you up because you just don't know who you're going to meet, and people are really crazy. <clears throat> um, Do your research about them online. <laughs> you might not get their entire name, <laughs> but chances are you'll have their phone number and a name. Try to find out as much about them. If they are like a serial killer, you might not want to date them. Lee did a lot of research. Um, he definitely looked me up <laughs> in its entire, like me in its entirety. It's just, it's creepy. Um, you but- You can find some of the things that I found on, <laughs> he's a stalker, I think was the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, <clears throat> it's cool though. I mean, you, you definitely wanna know who you're dating or what you're getting yourself into. So I definitely can understand that. Um, just don't admit it on the first date. Oh God. And, um, yeah, so don't put, you know, um, don't just put yourself out there like that. Don't settle for, like, the, the first person that messages you or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like I said, I was on there for maybe, like, three weeks before I actually met Lee. Um, and, and who knows? You might actually meet 
the person of your dreams on the first like the first message you might actually that might actually happen you just don't know so um i can't even say that i can't even say oh well don't you know <laughs> settle for the first person but um mm. lee and i both agreed to just go ahead and shut down our accounts once we actually before we met before we met we before we met we shut down our accounts um we did send each other you know pictures of each other just to kind of make sure that we Very are who important. we say we are we talked on the phone just to kind of hear each other's voices um you know stuff like that so first few dates were still you know out in public i didn't go to his home um until like two months or so um yeah it was at least but, like date five or something like that six I think date five or six. eight anyways um it was over a month like i know that yes <laughs> um and mm. even then when i went over there he was very respectful he never disrespected me um at all um crazy thing is we actually moved in four months of dating you guys four months of dating we moved in and we were not doing the do yet we were not having sex yet so and really crazy back, that was really weird. that was really risky and Risky. yeah <laughs> yeah but it was just something mm -hmm. about him and i just felt like it felt right we kept telling each other this just feels right it did um it felt crazy but it felt right at the same time yeah so um another yeah. thing about advice when you're going online and you're creating your profile don't skip anything one of the main reasons i didn't I never really liked eHarmony was because they had so many different questions that you have to answer before you can talk to anyone. Mm. But make sure you fill out that profile. You have your pictures, oh, you yeah, have who you're looking for, who you are, and be truthful. If you drink, put in there you drink. If you want XYZ, you want XYZ. Don't settle and don't let that be a surprise. I had to throw in there. I was looking for someone not in my race, no drugs, no alcohol, preferably spoke a different language, and a whole bunch of different things. The heart wants what the heart wants, the mind wants what the mind wants. Don't settle for who you want. I didn't. Very great points, babe. Like, li like seriously, really good points. Um, he, made, he made some really good points there, for sure. Um, make sure you fill it out, that's really important. Um, and be truthful, because this is just you putting in the preferences that you actually want, the things that you want in a man, so that you are, so that you can, that match comes up in your <laughs> match. thing, so that you can properly get matched. <laughs> On match.com, or um, whatever you do. Right, correct. Um, mm. But yeah, guys, um, that is really all that we have to say about that. Um, do you have any questions? I'm happy and very excited to continuously be with you. <laughs> um okay guys well that is all that we have um definitely let us know if you guys have any more questions or if you want a part two if there are just a, if you just have a laundry list of questions we will make a part two for you um if it's a good amount of questions we will do that for you even if it's just for one person you leave that comment laundry list it. it's okay Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hashtag Roxley. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!